What's up everybody, this is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again, and what you're going to see today is an update on the Boss and Nina litter at two and a half weeks old. The last time we posted a video of these puppies, they were only a couple hours old, so now we're going to do a little update, you know, let you guys get a little quick look at them, see how they progressed and stuff like that. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We really, really appreciate that. Also, go back and check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. We do have puppies available from other litters as well. So go, make sure you go check out them videos. We're going to be doing an update on the Napoleon and Nala litter here really soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is going to be an update video on the Boss and Nina pups at two and a half weeks old. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. You're going to see some footage of the puppies. and uh, But we're going to start it off here with our boy Boss. This is our boy, Killinois Kennel's Boss Hog. Real badass boy. He's the litter mate brother to our boy White Folks. He comes out of our Primro and Trinity breeding, produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. And comes out of generations and generations of our blood over here. Boss is the father of the puppies we have available and just like his litter mate brother white folks He throws it down every time we breed this boy as well So make sure you guys stay tuned for these puppies towards the end and some footage of the mother our girl Killinois kennels Nina But I think that's enough footage of boss now We're gonna move on to a little bit of history and some of his productions This right here is our boy Killinois kennels white folks boss's litter mate brother and again goes back to generations and generations of our blood over here at the Killinois camp he's a proven producer and he's also the father to the female that we bred boss to this right here is boss and white folks father Killinois kennels primro real badass razor's edge stud heavy bone big head real nice short wide boy just an all-around badass dog and uh, you know, he was bred to produce, and that's what he did, you know what I mean? He's still alive, he's one of our senior dogs. As you can see, this footage is a little bit old, but I did wanna put a little bit of footage in there for you guys. Like I said, it's pretty old footage, so it's not gonna be the best quality, but it is something for you guys to look at. This breeding between Boss and Nina is two times Killinois Kennels Primro. And like I said, this blood was bred to produce, and that's what we're hoping to get off of this litter. And so far, so good. The pups are looking great for only being two weeks old. And what I meant by this blood was bred to produce, you see that black female on the right there? That's a rocky daughter. That blue girl right there in there with Primro, she's a rocky daughter. This girl right here is a rocky granddaughter. That female bouncing around right there. That's Killinois Kennel's Envy, that's Rocky's mother. And that right there is Killinois Kennel's Monster, another Rocky son, real badass boy. So what I'm saying is, is all this blood really, you know, those four or five dogs you just seen right there, they all tie into the same stuff. And if you pay attention to Primro here and that black female that I was showing you there, they, you know, they almost look identical to each other, but are from two different, complete different litters. And like I said, the blood's bred to produce, you know what I mean? Look at that girl right there. She looks like a female version of Primro, you know what I mean? And the girl that's in there with him, she just got the blue coat. But, you know, the Rocky blood produces like crazy. And this is our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, one of our foundation studs over here, one of the best producing dogs in American Bully history. And again, he's the father to our boy Primro. This right here is Primrose's mother. She comes out of Hennessy and Paradise. This is our girl, Killinois Kennel's prodigy. She comes off of the same blood that created Samurai Paco, for those of you that might know that blood. And like I said, all these dogs that I'm mentioning here, this is real old footage. All these dogs you're seeing here are over 10 years old. So they might not look quite as impressive as some of our new stuff, but you know, in their time, they were some of the best dogs in the world. This right here is Boss and White Folks' mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity. And she come out of this badass boy Primetime right here, which was a Razor's Edge Smoky Sun. And our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance, which come out of Dominator and Pagan, which goes back into some old school Dominion blood. These puppies right here 
or a litter that Boss had not too long ago out of our girl Stella. Real nice litter of pups. We'll be posting up some of those productions here soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. The two fawn and white pups are both males, and the white and black pup is a female. The female is Killinois Kennels Issa. We got something really big planned for this girl. She's a real, real nice female. We'll be getting some footage of this female here really soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We're gonna be breeding her on her first time out to our boy, Killinois Kennels Napoleon. I wanna to apologize to all you guys. We ain't been too active on the channel here lately. These puppies and these dog shows have been keeping us pretty busy here. And uh, you know, things been kinda of hectic, man. But you know, we're gonna get back on track here. We're gonna be posting the Rocco and Stella pups here coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned. But this dog right here, this is one of Boss's sons. This is Killinois Kennels Cash, real badass boy. And uh, you know, this comes off of a breeding we did in-house out of Killinois Kennels Boss and our girl Killinois Kennels Diamond. And you know, the, the litter we got right now with Nina, we're expecting to get some dogs like this, if not better, for sure. This boy right here is a real badass boy. We didn't get a whole lot of footage of him. I'm gonna try to get over there here soon and get some more footage of this badass boy. And this right here is our girl Killinois Kennels Nina. Again, she's the litter mate to our boy Napoleon. Real she male type of female, just like her mother Trixie. Like I said earlier in this video, this is gonna be a two times Killinois Kennels Primro breeding. And you know, this is going again, going back to generations and generations of our blood over here. We could have bred this girl to a lot of our boys, but you know what? Boss, we feel was the best, you know, best matchup for this girl. He's gonna bring them down in height a little bit. He's gonna shorten the back up a little bit, and she's gonna bring up the size a little bit on him. And uh, you know, we're expecting these two to outproduce each other for sure. And this is a breeding that we're trying to lock in on our Killinois blood. And uh, you know, we're gonna mix it in with all of our Dax blood, and you know, all the you know new stuff we got going on over here. But like I said, you know, she's a real big girl, real she-male type of female. And by breeding her to boss, like I said, we're going to shorten it up and shorten up them backs and, you know, get the dogs that we're sought out to produce, you know. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be showing the puppies here really soon. And again, we got three males and three females off of the litter, all looking real nice. All the whole litter's real, real consistent, real solid dogs. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end. I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and our supporters. Everybody showing us love on the channel. We just hit 14,800 subscribers and we couldn't have did it without your guys' help. So again, I want to send a big shout out to all you guys that hit that like button, comment on these videos, share them with your friends, all that good stuff, man. It really means a lot and this channel's growing and growing and make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to be bringing a lot of new things to the channel this spring and summer stuff. But I think that's enough footage of Nina. Now we're gonna move on to Nina's littermate brother, our boy Killinois Kennels Napoleon. And we're also gonna be showing your parents and be showing you the puppies after that. This is our boy Killinois Kennels Napoleon. Again, the littermate to our girl Nina. Real badass boy. And the reason why I'm showing you guys all these dogs is I'm trying to show you the consistency of the dogs that we have over here. We don't keep no slouches. And, you know, we try to keep all of our dogs nothing but top quality, show quality American bullies over here. We got some real big things planned for this boy. And also, Napoleon is open for stud to approve females only. His stud fee is $1,500 plus shipping if need be. And here soon, with the way this boy's putting it down, we're going to be raising his stud fee. So if anyone's interested, get with us and you can lock in that stud price at $1,500. And like I said, shortly he'll be going up from there. Like I said, Napoleon's been producing really, really well thus far. We just bred one of his sons. So here real soon, Napoleon's going to be a grandpa, which is kind of crazy, being that he just now really started his stud career. 
but we're going to be looking forward to that. Our boy Dark Low, we just bred him to one of our real nice females. I'm not going to let the cat out the bag quite yet, but make sure you guys stay tuned because it's going to be a real, real nice breeding. After you guys get done watching this video, make sure you go check out our video of Dark Low. That's one of Napoleon's sons, real badass boy. And again, like I said, we just bred him to one of our best females over here. It's gonna be a real nice breeding, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We got another real nice stud coming off of Napoleon, our boy Killinois Kennels Apollo. He lives with my partner, Country, real badass boy. I'm gonna be going over there here real soon. I just been letting that boy mature. I haven't even seen him since he was a puppy myself, but uh, I'm gonna go over there here real soon, get some video of him. I can't wait to see him. The last pictures, you know, Country sent me of this boy, man. He was looking phenomenal. And I'm just the type that I like to wait and see the final package later. But that's it for Napoleon. Now we're gonna move on to Napoleon and Nina's father, our boy, Killinois Kennels White Folks. This is our boy Killinoy Kennels White folks. Again, boss's litter mate brother, Napoleon and Nina's father. And one of our foundation studs we got over here at the Killinois camp. He comes from generations and generations of our blood over here. And this boy puts it down every time we breed him. Just look at his son Napoleon and our girl Nina in this video. White folks is getting a little bit older, but he is currently open for stud for to approve females only. He won't be up for stud for much longer. So if anyone's interested in getting something off of this boy and wants to use them, make sure you get with us and we'll take care of you. But that's it for the footage of white folks. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to Nina and Napoleon's mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Trixie. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels, Trixie. Real badass female, as you can see. She's also producer as well. Her and our boy, White Folks, threw it down on that Napoleon and Nina litter, man. We couldn't have been happier. We got some big things planned for this girl in the future, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Trixie's a real badass girl. She's predominantly Razor's Edge with a little bit of Gotti line behind her. She's got the best of both worlds of the American Bully with Razor's Edge and Gotti line. She's really heavily bred on the Remy line blood. And she also goes back into some West Side Monster as well. But that's it for footage of the parents of these pups and breaking down their pedigrees and all that stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to this Boss and Nina litter at two and a half weeks old. The puppies are three weeks old now, but the footage was taken when they were two and a half weeks old. And again, we got three males and three females off of this litter, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Here's the long awaited video of the Boss and Nina pups. Again, at two and a half weeks old. The puppies are three weeks old now, but when we took this footage, they were just a little over two weeks old. But um, again, we got three males, three females off of this litter. From left to the right, we got female, female, male, 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 female. For those of you that might have got confused there, don't worry. I got tons of footage of these puppies and we separate them in twos and I, I'm going to explain exactly which pups are what, males and females and stuff like that. So as of right now, the pups are only three weeks old. You know, by the time they're six weeks old, seven weeks old, we'll have a better idea of what's going to be available and what prices are. The best thing for you to do is subscribe to this channel and hit that notif make sure you hit that notification bell so you're guaranteed to get this video when we drop it. That's how we let everybody know and you know once we drop these videos people call and you know they don't they don't last long so make sure you guys are tuned in. You know I'm trying to give everybody a fair shot at getting one of these pups and you know just make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. And, you know, once we drop it, get with us and we'll take care of you. If you have any questions, you know, you can leave them in the comment section or you can give me a call at 217-280-0151 and I'll answer any questions you might have. Please don't text my phone. 
I have a hard enough time keeping up with all the comments on YouTube and talking on the phone with other people and it's just way easier to handle you know a little five ten minute conversation rather than texting back and forth all day I just don't have the time for it right now so please if you have any questions call my phone and we'll do our best to take care of you but look at these puppies man look how consistent this litter is yeah we got a bunch of different colors but the pups are all real real close in quality got real nice heads real nice bone just you know real nice colors just all around real nice puppies but that's it for the, all the puppies together now we're gonna go ahead and move on and i'm gonna separate these pups in twos and I'll explain to you which sex is what. That way you guys have a better understanding of what's going on here. This pup on the left hand side, that's a male right there. And on the right hand side is a female. Both real, real nice pups. Real nice head, real nice bone, real nice girthy pups all the way around. The boy is a fawn and I'm believing that the girl is a champagne. But um, again, like I said, real nice pups, as you can see. And, you know, we can't wait to see what the future holds here in the next coming, upcoming weeks. This litter right here is going to be that litter that if someone's really trying to hit that show ring and see some success in the ring, this is going to be a litter that, you know, you'll want to inquire on. But that's it for these two pups right here. Now we're going to move on to these next couple pups, which are a couple females. Both of these girls right here are super nice, super thick, real, real girthy pups. The girl on the left is like a fawn with like a black mask. And then the girl on the right is a real flashy pup. You know, she's a fawn. She's got a little black in her face as well. But both real nice females, real nice bone, girth, just again, all around badass puppies. In my opinion, Boss and Nina killed it on this litter. I mean, look how close all these puppies are. They're all real girthy. You know, even the females are blending in with the males and stuff. You know, some of the females are bigger than the next two pups that you're about to see, which are both males. So we couldn't be happier off of this litter. And again, like I said, can't wait to see what happens in these next upcoming weeks. But that's enough for these two females. Now we're going to move on to the last two pups, the couple males that we have off of this litter. These two right here are both boys. The black tri on the left, real nice pup. And then we got this boy on the right that's like a real reddish fawn. He kind of looks like Remy. Real nice pups. Look at the domes on these two pups right here. We are going to be keeping some pups off this litter. So again, it's going to be too early for us to make any picks or determine any prices or any of that stuff. You know, the pups are only three weeks old now, but by the time they start hitting six, seven weeks old, we should have a better idea of what's going on, what we're going to keep and what we're going to let go and prices and stuff like that. I know everybody's been patiently waiting on the time for you know us to start letting pups go but you know those times are coming again these pups are only three weeks old the napoleon and nala pups are five weeks old you know so everything's about to jump off here really soon so again make sure you guys stay tuned i want to send a huge shout out to everybody that purchased a pup out of the rocco and stella litter we really appreciate your business I had a guy come pick up the runt female out of Houston, Texas. Big shout outs to him. We did a video. We're going to be doing a customer update on her here really soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I got the guy coming picking up the second pick male out of Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going to be doing a customer update video tomorrow with him. The third pick male, the black male, he's going out to the Caribbean. Big shout out to those guys for their uh, business as well. Stay tuned. The Napoleon and Nala pups are five weeks old and we're going to be doing an update video of them on this weekend and we'll probably be t determining what's going to be available on prices. So again, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on this litter. We just did a collaboration breeding with a Midwest kennel out here with our boy White Folks. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be posting some video of the female we bred them to. 
Also, we're going to be doing a customer update off of one of the Michael Myers and Bada Bing males. A real nice boy I seen the other day. We're going to get some video of him and put up him. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of real nice stuff coming up on the channel. We're going to be doing a show vlog of the Cinco de Mayo IBKC show. It's going to be a real good vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you watch this video all the way through, leave the words Killinois Kennels in the comment section. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We really, really appreciate that. And also go back and check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. Again, I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and supporters and everybody showing us love on our channel. It really means a lot to us. We just hit 14,800 subscribers and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. So again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.